Hello my friends. Cold rain and snowfall are one of the most extreme weather patterns for any farm animal. If you do not have experience in taking care of animals in this type of weather, it is very easy for dozens or even hundreds of animals to die of cold in livestock farms. With more than 700,000 active animal farms across the country, it is inevitable that millions of farm animals in the United States must face the harsh winter weather. And in today's video, we're going to livestock farms to see how ranchers raise thousands of livestock through the harsh winter. We are currently on a cattle ranch in eastern Colorado that is home to about 170 cattle and calves. At this farm, even two week old calves are herded into the pasture when the outdoor temperature is only about 17 degrees Fahrenheit. In cold weather like this, the amount of feed for the cattle and calves at this farm will need to increase by about 40% to make them strong enough to withstand the harsh weather. For farms that don't have a lot of land to graze, silage is almost the best choice to help the herd get through the winter when the ambient temperature drops below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. An adult cow on this farm needs to eat about 90 pounds of silage instead of the usual 55 pounds. This is a cattle ranch in Custer County, Nebraska home to about 380 cattle and calves. At about 9 a.m. each day, hundreds of cattle here will be herded to the cornfields next to the farm to feed, and the outdoor temperature is now about 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Cattle that are in poor health and have thin coats often feel stressed when a field temperature drops below 15 degrees Fahrenheit. When subjected to cold stress, cattle often change behavior, such as seeking shelter to avoid cold. With good body condition, dry coat, fresh water and good nutrition, the cattle here can completely withstand temperatures below zero degrees Fahrenheit very well. According to USDA statistics, in 2022, Nebraska is the second state in the list of states with the most cattle in the country, with about 6.8 million heads, accounting for about 7.4% of the total number of cattle in the United States. In winter, a thick layer of snow covers the entire pasture area of this farm, and the food used for the hundreds of cattle here is hay and straw. The quality of meat from cattle raised under these cold conditions is always appreciated and costs about 20% more than cattle living in warm climates. This is a herd of about 35 cattle in Fergus County, Montana. Due to being raised in small numbers and without a barn system, all cattle here are grazed on pasture for 12 months of the year. During the snowy season, hay and straw will also be used to feed dozens of livestock. These cattle are only protected by a simple fence system and have no roof at all. In recent years, the number of cattle in Montana has always remained between 2.5 and 2.7 million heads. This is also the third state in the list of states with the largest cattle per capita in the United States, with about three cattle per person in the state. The 
The cold winter with snowfall causes many difficulties for livestock farms. However, for experienced cattle ranchers in the United States, overcoming these extreme weather conditions is quite easy. We are currently at a goat farm in Riverside County, Southern California. In winter, the amount of natural grass around this farm only meets about 10% of the amount of food that the goats here need to consume. In order to meet the food requirements of nearly 100 goats, the owner of this farm will cut down branches to make food for the goats. Of course, these goats are also supplemented with other foods such as grain when they return to the barn. Just like cattle, goats can perfectly adapt to temperatures between 15 and 20 degrees Fahrenheit, provided their food intake is increased by about 30% compared to their normal diet. In addition, keeping the coat dry is very important for the goats to withstand the cold of winter. Goodbye Livestock Farms, we will go to an apple farm in Yakima Valley in Washington State to see how the process of harvesting thousands of tons of apples here takes place during the snowy season. November to December is the time when it snows heavily and covers the apple farms of Yakima. This causes great damage to apple growers and apple harvest workers. The process of picking billions of apples is done when the snow melts and by then about 35% of the apples are spoiled. Most of the apples on this farm after picking will be sent to apple cider or apple cider vinegar factories because their quality is not qualified for sale at farmers markets or supermarkets. In addition to apples, the harvest of corn or soybeans during the snowy season is also common in states with large farming areas such as Iowa or California. Farm experts say that both corn and soybean crops can be harvested under freezing temperatures and even snowfall. However, this type of weather can easily reduce quality and yield. Hello my friends, today we are going to the poultry farms in the United States to see how the process of raising millions of poultry takes place in the vast grasslands. Today, chicken is the most commonly raised poultry species in the grasslands of the United States. In addition, duck, turkey and quail farms also appear quite a lot in the grasslands of some states with large farmlands such as California, Iowa, Nebraska, Texas or Minnesota. According to the USDA statistics, by the end of 2021, there are about 813 million poultry in the United States, of which chicken is the largest species with about 64% of the poultry, followed by turkey with 26, and duck accounting for only 0.04% of the total number of poultry raised in the country. Currently, the majority of poultry in the United States is raised on factory farms, and only 7% of poultry is raised free range on pastures. This is a duck farm in Tipton County, Indiana, home to more than 200 ducks. All ducks on this farm are raised for the purpose of harvesting eggs. Every day, hundreds of ducks on this farm will be herded into the more than five acre pasture next to the farm to freely pay and 
eat small insects. According to the USDA statistics, in 2021, there are about 275 active duck farms in Indiana, and the number of ducks in this state is about 27.5 million. In particular, the Culver Farm in the town of Middlebury is home to the largest number of ducks, with more than 11 million. Like other states in the United States, most ducks in Indiana are kept in closed enclosures, and only about 17 farms in this state graze the ducks on pastures. In addition to the food that ducks can earn on their own in the pasture, the workers at this farm also add pellets and cereals to their diets every day to increase their ability to lay eggs. For free-range ducks with a nutritious diet, they can lay about 280 to 300 eggs per year. Meanwhile, commercial ducks raised in the factory farm can lay 350 eggs per year. Because there are no ponds and small pools of water around the farm, these basins will be used to bathe hundreds of ducks. It is very important for ducks to be bathed and cleaned every afternoon to help them feel relaxed and increase egg production. Every morning after the ducks are herded to the pasture outside, the workers at this farm will harvest the duck eggs and the number of eggs collected per day at this farm is about 200. Goodbye Duck Farm in Indiana, we will go to a turkey farm in Minnesota to see how hundreds of turkeys here are raised. Once the inspection is complete, the eligible turkeys will be moved from this farm to start a new life. Except for the slightly larger sized, newly hatched turkeys don't look much different from the chicks and the care for them is very similar. These are three week old turkeys and the hundreds of turkeys here will be kept in cages for two months before they are free to forage in the pasture. Currently, in the United States, there are about 2,500 active turkey farms, and Minnesota is the state with the largest number of turkey farms in the country, with around 667 farms. After about two months of age, hundreds of turkeys at this farm will be released outside to roam freely and dig for insects. According to USDA statistics, at the beginning of 2022, there are about 224 million turkeys in the country, and about 44 million of them are raised in Minnesota. Currently, only 7% of turkeys in the United States are raised free range. This is another turkey farm in Minnesota where there are about 570 black turkeys. Currently, farm-raised adult turkeys typically weigh between 30 and 40 pounds. Meanwhile, the maximum weight of wild turkeys is about 15 to 20 pounds. In the late afternoon, hundreds of turkeys will be herded into the barn to rest and avoid predators like foxes or wildcats. This is what happens when the turkeys are eligible for the meat harvest. They are caught by these workers and transported to the turkey processing plant. According to statistics, in 2021, about 46 million turkeys will be slaughtered during Thanksgiving. 22 million at Christmas, and 19 million at Easter in the United States. In addition, every day about 330,000 turkeys are slaughtered across the country. 
Alexander Hamilton, the first Secretary of the Treasury of the United States, once stated that there is not a citizen of the United States who does not like to eat turkey on Thanksgiving Day. And now this has come true. The next location we will visit in this video is a free range chicken farm in Iowa, which is also the state with the largest number of chickens in the country, with more than 61 million. Here's what's going on inside the chicken coop. More than 900 chicks will be raised here for three weeks before they are moved to the pasture. Currently, in the United States, there are about 196,000 chicken farms in operation, and only about 11% of them are free range chicken farms. These are two week old chicks and in about 10 days they'll be moved to the pastures to start a new life. All chickens on this farm are raised for the purpose of harvesting meat, so their diets will be different from farms raising chickens for eggs. About 90% of the feed used for these chickens here is corn and pea meal. After about three weeks, these workers will catch and put hundreds of chickens in these cages before moving them to pasture. At this pasture, mobile chicken coops have been prepared to welcome the new members. Each chicken coop like this will be used to house 50 chickens, and they will live here until they are able to be harvested for their meat. Due to the freedom to move around every day, the meat quality of the chickens on this farm is always preferred over chickens that are kept in cages for life. And this is what happens when the chickens reach four months of age. Similar to turkeys, hundreds of chickens here will be captured and put in cages before being transported to the poultry slaughterhouse. In addition to the broiler farms in the United States, there are also about 3,400 chicken farms that are free range for the purpose of harvesting eggs. Of course, the eggs at these farms are always much more expensive than eggs at closed farms. Each year, the United States produces 97 billion eggs, and about 11 billion of them are eggs harvested on free-range farms. It is estimated that each American consumes about 288 eggs per year and this number is expected to increase to 289 eggs each year by the end of 2023.